Now, again, now we're gonna add on the cloth. Now, first of all, hang on, let me, I always forget this step. Let me hide that really quick. Click on these guys here, mm -hmm. right? And we need to put on collision again, right? Collision, make sure these all have collision on them, okay? Those all have collision because we want those to collide with the big one. And then here, turn back on our big one. I'm gonna put this big one in the collection too. I'm gonna press M, big ball. All right, boom. Now turn on collision. We're gonna go to cloth. Now I got some different settings here for this guy here. For the big one, my settings were here 10 on the steps. And then the weight was 0.5. Stiffness, your stiffness tension, we went 36.9. Tab down to the next one, 27.9. And then I went five, okay, kept that stock. And then the next one binding, I went 0.3, all right? Then we scroll down to dampening. Settings were 7.5. Pression was stock, five. Next one, also sure was five. And our last one, binding or bending, 1.9, right? Okay, that's it for those guys there. And then also here we go down to collision. All right, and on my collision steps, I was at four. Distance, again, uh, point, let me back that up, point zero zero five. And then on our next one, uh, that was at zero, good. And then self-collision, we go down here and turn on self-collision. Self-collision was on five. Then I turn this one down to zero, which is gonna make it 0.1. Actually, you know what? I, sorry, I did that wrong. Friction was zero. And then I went to distance 0 0.005 because it spazzes out if I go to zero. And the next one was zero, okay? So the friction is basically set to zero, all right? And that's pretty much it. What we can do here, let's go ahead and save. And I'm going to do a quick cache so we can see what it looks like because it's not gonna play back well at all. So let's go ahead and fake all dynamics again. And now it takes a little bit of time because again, the cloth, the higher, the more, the more subdivisions we got, you know, it's more data, but it looks a lot more better. You get all those little detailed wrinkles and stuff. So, you know, go grab a cup of coffee. Typically I watch TV or go just do something else while it's, it's cashing out and then I'll come and check it. And then it was, it sucked. And then repeat this process until you get something that you like. So you got to be patient with it on this part. And again, the more uh, little balls you have inside, it, it's, you know, it's shearing the cloth. It's going to be more time. So if you have the time, if you have a really strong computer, it's going to work out really quickly for you. Unfortunately, I just have a, a low entry gaming laptop and um, it takes a little bit of time, but I have patience. So I'll see you guys when it's done. Alrighty, so it's finished caching and I finished washing the dishes. So let's go ahead and play it here. And complete failure, right? Complete fail. And this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna have some that are working, some that are good. Uh, it's just gonna, it's just a game we have to play. And what I think is happening is the gravity, cause I had no gravity in the other one and this time here. So let's go ahead and reset that. Turn off the gravity, delete all bakes, and then come into here into gravity. Let's turn off the gravity. And this time while we're at it, let's just go ahead and add in force, basically. We're gonna add in another force. And I'm gonna press Shift A, and let's add in a force. And this time we're gonna add in a turbulence. And for a moment here, I'm gonna hide this by clicking on and pressing H. I'm gonna grab my turbulence here, and I'm just gonna drag it up to the side here. The turbulence was set at 5,000. Turbulence, 5,000. And then let's just go ahead and duplicate that. And I guess I'm gonna put one here and rotate this and duplicate it one more time. So we got three of those. And then we're gonna put one harmonic back in also. Shift A, force field, harmonic. And I'm gonna press G, Z that up, just to put that up in the middle of these guys here. And the setting on that one is going to be 1,000. That, that's it, pretty much only one of those. All right, so let's go ahead and try again. Hit save, make sure we save it. Alt H to unhide this again. Make sure to delete all bakes, bake all dynamics. And I'll see you in about five minutes. All right, so 
camera battery has died so we lost the camera but we don't need that so uh we quickly here it did sim and i did notice like this is pretty much the effect like you can see it working there but we got a couple of balls that slipped through so what we could do let's see like where we lose them here right there they kind of pop out and then see there's something going on here too because these two balls should be colliding against each other but they're not so what i think i might just end up doing is just deleting one of them out of there and let's just go ahead and re-simulate the whole thing again Alrighty, so let's see what we got this time minus one and let's simulate and that's looking good so far the balls are holding inside super uh lots of wrinkles on this one actually ah okay yeah that's okay i stopped the sim like with the last couple of frames left okay so that's actually looking really good so what i would do here now to really soften this up make sure you hit uh, shade smooth and then what we'll do right before we export out the olympic file we're going to add on another sub diff on their basic subsurface so um, i'm going to go ahead and let this render all the way to the end here because i did cut out a couple of frames there that's why it's doing that all right guys so it's finished semi now and it looks good right all the balls are staying inside nothing's getting crazy but they're holding inside so good so what we'll do from here again now i'm going to make sure we save again and one more time here i'm going to add another sub diff on here let's go ahead and add surface boom now look at it it's starting to look really nice right i'm gonna go ahead and apply that oh i guess i'm not going to apply that undo all right now let's export it here let me go ahead and save again but we need to export this out one more time for an olympic just to save everything so make sure you select the cloth the big one and then go the same thing again go to export olympic and I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna press plus so it can change the number. So it'll be a second one. And select an object and disconnect normals. And then hit export Olympic. Now I like to check it because sometimes I have issues like when it export, right? So on this one here, we're gonna go ahead and hide it. Just press H. And these guys, we're gonna hide also the balls here. We made a, a small there collection already. Now let's go ahead and import it. Import Olympic and let's import our second one. And it should populate there. And boom, there it is. Okay. Now again, it looks a little bit crappy, right? Make sure we're sh shaded to smooth. And then again, we can just throw on a subsurface onto this here now that we have the Olympic, right? So we can come in here. And this is the one that you can really crank it up, right? Where is it at? Subsurface. So there it is. And this time, like, I can go to like level three, like one, two, that's three, like level three levels on it, right? And that's pretty much it. This is where, like, you know, you'll just import this into a new scene if you wanted. And then you just start to build. Like, typically for my track, once I had this exported as an Olympic, I'll take this Olympic and import it into my track scene and it's ready to go. And then that's pretty much how I made this material here. So, for example, uh, I'll just quickly set up a quick scene here. I'm going to use some of the preset pre stuff I have here. Let me just grab a quick material here. I'm going to grab this checker material. I'm just going to drop it on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the rendered scene really fast. And that material is broken. So let's just grab the next material down here. Oh, actually, that material is not broken. It's the HDRI is missing. Okay, so what I'm going to actually do anyways, I'm going to go to my world lighting. And I'm just going to zero that out because it's missing my HDR. But let's go in the camera view. I'm going to jump into my camera view. And then all I'm going to do is line up my camera quickly here. Set up a quick scene. Camera back. I'm going to add in a light i'm gonna go area light scale that up a bit i'm gonna go g z g z pull that up something like that i'm actually gonna do a little bit of backlighting a y 
rotate this on the X, kind of something like that. Where's the camera? Okay, it's gonna move this over to the X and rotate it on the Z, kind of this way. Easy up. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more power. Let's say like 150, maybe even more, 550. Okay, maybe even more, a thousand. All right, looking okay. Scale that up a little bit more. Make sure it's fairly close to my scene. Okay, good. Then what I'm gonna do is duplicate that. Go Shift D. I'm gonna go Z. And I'm gonna bring this underneath. Rotate on the X. I'm just having something like that. And I'm actually going to rotate this. I want this to come from underneath the other side and rotate back like that. All right, let's jump back in my camera. That's looking pretty cool. Let's just add in a plane, which will be my background. I'm gonna rotate that. Actually, we'll go ahead and scale that up. Rotate it on the X, 90 degrees. And I'm going to push it back on the Y, something like that. Jump back into my camera. Scale that sucker up huge. GY, pull it back a little bit more. Go back. Kind of something like that. Scale it up. All right. And matter of fact, let's bring it in just a little bit closer. GY. Actually, right about there. And then I might need to some light shooting on this backdrop here. I'm gonna grab another one of these, duplicate it, slide it to the X, rotate it so it's kind of um, pointing G R X to the backdrop there. Zoom it here, zoom back into our camera. All right, and matter of fact, I'm by with this button. Wood material. Actually, there we go. Now this bottom light, I'm gonna bring the intensity down. Just like here. I'm gonna bring the intensity down and so I can switch, switching between views here. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this into, come on. And on this side, we'll go ahead and close that out. Press Z, render mode. Okay, nice, there we go. This bottom light is a little bit too strong. We don't want that to be that strong. I'm gonna go 500. This backdrop one here, I'm actually gonna knock that down too to maybe like 450. Okay, just, I want the light, this to pop, right? Okay. And I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and GY bring it a little bit closer. All right, and this bottom guy again here, I'm gonna knock the intensity down on that. Let's go uh, divide it by half. Okay, I'm liking the way that's looking. And I think that's pretty much it, you know. If anything, I probably could knock down this backdrop here. Let's even see if we just turn it off. Ooh, I actually like that. That looks really nice, right? Maybe even possibly putting a material on this and making it black, darker material. Down here and some darker material. Yeah, I'm liking that. There we go. That's awesome. 